What's good with you guys? Welcome back to another brand new episode of Tales of Pisteria. I'm your host, Freak. So today, we just found out a few things about um, Aizen and his crew. There are more guards and exorcists out than there were before, and they ain't saying nothing to us. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. All right, what we'll did do. that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. All right. So, uh, we all know that's a lie. Administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe. In I mean, a world, the entire kingdom would are be they protected, really unsafe? There's just not enough oh, manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties you know by making those areas off limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They yeah. sent out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. I you dangerous. wonder how much they can administrate these places they're when they're not something. willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many class four administrative zones? Oh, no, zones? They, they got their hands dirty. I've heard this, of ten such they, regions in my time working times. as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. I, I doubt we'll ever go there. I'm, I'm only just following the story's map. If the story doesn't want me going there, then goddamn it. mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. Damn, bitch. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! Y you stay calm too, okay? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir! And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All yeah, right. but the fruit is And let's get ready to sail shit. out. <laughs> Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <laughs> Baby girl. Just no, no. Yep. I mean, I like to go to class four, but you know, like I said, I followed the storyline. Anything other than that, who gives a damn? It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Bet you it is. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. Yeah, but. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. 
And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh! Well, she looks like she feels better, too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No. It's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts! <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. <laughs> the Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Oh no, baby, could they do that? Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. No, it don't. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. Follow that feeling. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh. Something wrong? Uh. Whoa, easy there. Just asking. S sorry, I was just deep look in at thought. The, look at the face is she there made. something she... you need from me? Nah, just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my solitoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I... despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... <sighs> all I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so, I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. You should have became a demon to destroy the exorcist. <laughs> so you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. Because more... Because most of the exorcists, they did more evil, didn't... They? Finally made it. We finally, we finally made it. We finally made it. So where we're going, I don't know, but hey, the star says go to the Taylor. Hey, that island is a great training what ground. That? That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Oh hell no, that's a that's a bird fish. Pangyon, their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the, the chit -chat. fish, bird. Magilu, <laughs> what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put it? All right, we're going to see a friend of her. I totally forgot about that. <sighs> Oh. You know, like that. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> no, uh, well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. <laughs> uh, grown woman. Okay, I got it. Yeah, not the one, not the one that she well, was serving before. We, we kidnapped you. We could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, 
You're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chaploom! Bye-bye! Your feelings broke? Why did he Come still on. get this uh, chain around him? Alright. It's a good deal. Okay, I can talk to my man right there. Kind of skimming through it just so you can see where. He said, My fellas died a long time ago. Oh, I could have went either or. Okay, but I know exactly where I'm going. Thank you. She named the kid a lobby set. That's so beautiful. Name him after your younger brother. Now this is a island. Not like the mother was. Can't walk on water. It's become common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding. But there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gan. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and South Gan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to South Gan. He had used the Natan logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and South Gan, and the age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on South Gand. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, yes. Midgan emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, age of exploration, more like age of exploitation. <laughs> When things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but... South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand. This must have been a really fun place. Alright, cool. Well, that was an interesting talk. Let's get the beach. Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Mogulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year. Oh my god. Again? Oh! Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. <laughs> oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat. It's them. Oh shit. Oh shit. The final preparations. You still got that eye patch, my boy? Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too oh. big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. 
Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? This is a weird relationship. Is that the name of a facility on this island? This is a weird I relationship. I better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister... <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. This relationship just seems weird. Why? It had to be so weird! So, there's a demon in Haria. It sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. <sighs> If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Tell me, do you want to take a bath? Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. She likes... he likes... uh... <laughs> uh... Velvet? More than... Yeah, Velvet more is, is the hotter one. Versus that red hair chick. I can't stand her either. But I can't <sighs> stand her... It is, the way she just... Just hop in conversation, just make you kind of just want to smack her upside the head, you know? Uh, what's up to this guy? Hey, this doll? It looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. Oh my I've God. seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbey's banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> oh. Wait, that sounds like... <laughs> And that low-energy goddess you saw? He's the like, doll you've got uh, here looks like her? Uh, yeah, more or less. Uh. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, sure. to the beach! Uh, uh, uh. Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> so what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, 
I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. Oh my god, why is we doing down this? Too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, <laughs> keep an eye she on She says, so that's but, what he likes. <laughs> watch out for the older girls. Huh? <laughs> Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them Say fall, close. not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like oh he was in god. charge. Oh After my god, oh my god. After a while, he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. No, Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? He don't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Laviset, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Laviset. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh... Yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. Oh my god. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. <sighs> Two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? <laughs> How about an older brother instead? Oh my god! Why is we doing this? Oh my god! Whew. Okay. Alright, uh... Where the hell am I going? Alright, I'm going to the question mark. Uh, where's the question mark? Where am I at? Whew. That was funny. That was funny. That was funny as hell. <laughs> what? So I mean, left second got two women who want to be her big older sister. Oops. Okay. Beautiful waters. So this is Muckler Beach. Oh shit. Hello, It's over, right? 
I didn't even realize these things are... Talking about brother and sister. No, their relationship is weird, man. That, that's the... Like, Velvet actually treated her little brother like a little brother. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Laffy said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! Damn, It's all cans with you. All right. Is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces. But we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that! Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable! That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different! That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! That's why I was really didn't get into a fight with the thing. Hmm. Oh well. Everyone ready? Go, 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 Don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. In other words, the rest of her is fair game. Not unless you really want to get hurt. He said the rest of her is fair game. That's hilarious. Is that... Grimoire? Hmm. <sighs> She's moving away. A dragon? No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends with fire? Wait! 
Close one, but I am the victor. All right, there we go. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bianfu? Your grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. I know, right? I didn't either. <sighs> that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <laughs> oh, no. Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. Uh... <laughs> My apologies. You never was asking about how old she is. Time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <sighs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah. Oh, he has a cute crush on Velvet. That's... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. Damn. I admire your dedication Damn. enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am. 
You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Graham, be careful. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. Are we? That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Hmm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine, Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such uh. a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper! Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Damn. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh yes. I'll oh, have no. you stuffed and mounted. But oh, since no. it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. Mounted? No, no, count me out. Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. Uh, it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it... Just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier exactly, just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Damn, baby girl. Damn, baby girl. Haria. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? I think it might be. We should remain on our guard. That's Haria Village. To the inn! One and all! Other girls say spot. So if you get to the village of the let's go get to the governor of the load till next time. Ooh, bye.